Okay. Now I'm on. Good evening. Thank you, you guys. Good evening. Ah. Sir. All right. Where the hell are we? Am I adjusted right here? Yes. This looks okay. fine. Looks fine. Ah. Clarity. Okay, of course, starting from a confused, unclear place, we'll, we'll try for it. Clarity. Okay. Uh, the person, the character, is in a dimensional realm. Okay. The sit situations are also dimensional realm. I think I want to try to clarify that a bit for the clarity factor. Stick with me. Um, that these two work in, hopefully they want to work in harmony with each other. Okay. We've covered some of this before. I just want to get a little better at it. So this is dimensional and this is dimensional. Uh, maybe maybe to tell stories for a little bit. Uh, one you may have heard before, I don't remember, but uh, in this context. Okay. So I'm at S. Lynn in the coffee shop, the dining area, having my coffee. And a couple I don't know come up to me and say, use us, sir, uh, but we have a question about our relationship. We'd like to ask you. And a strong thought was, I don't know these people. I don't know anything. Okay. Now, here's my process. So I settled down, person, I settled down ah, to a finer dimension of me. Okay. Then from that finer dimension, I said, okay, the situation, we're talking about their relationship. Okay, let me see, sense, see a finer dimension of their relationship. Okay, and I probably did that a couple of times, let's say. Finer dimension me, finer dimension of situation. Okay. As I was doing that, the finer dimension of situation began to clarify, and I could suddenly see this uh, historical, I knew suddenly a past life, just the way it was presenting, the sense of it. And I saw this married couple, okay, uh, it seemed to be Midwest, Kansas, and this gentleman, this guy owned a uh, flour mill, a uh, whatever it's called. And uh, he must have been fairly well to do with it because the house looked nice. Okay? The wife looked like a very nice wife at home, cooking, whatever, whatever. It seemed very, very nice. I probably continued to settle and get into a little finer. I surmise I was doing that. And then reading that situation finer so that the situation could show more about itself. I see again, a nice relationship. And, and this sense in there about uh, that they don't want to continue that relationship in this life, uh, but they had such a nice relationship that they just wanted to bump into each other in this life and hang out for a while, okay? Uh, express how, how nice uh, they were with each other in their last life, but there was no sense of them getting married this life. It was more like a, hi, how are you? It's great to see you again. Okay, so I'm, I'm laying out that story to show I went dimensional finer. I went to a level, let's say, uh, just to give it a name, uh, a finer dimension of C, A, B, C. And then I checked the situation finer dimension of C of the situation, which time I'm able to read things, okay? It's a comfortable communication, me and this picture that's un unfolding. Uh, uh, they, and that was about it. I told them what I was seeing and my flavor, and they were all happy because 
uh, had a sense that they already knew this. They just wanted to double check. Uh, they had a sense of something historical or past life in their relationship. They had a sense that they were uh, uh, coming together again this life, but not the, nothing heavy duty like get married again and stuff. And so when I laid out what I saw, they were like, great. And I had that feeling they already kind of knew it. They just wanted confirmation. Okay. Uh, I, anyway, I'm trying to get across this, this finer dimension. That is a finer dimension. Back and forth. I use the term talking to Noah today, uh, en energy tennis game. Finer bings to finer and finer bings back to finer. An energy tennis game. Okay. Okay. Where the hell are we? Ah, stories, stories, stories. Uh, Susan, are you on yet? Anybody know if Susan's on? She maybe is on and she's yes. coming up now. There, there she is. Yes. Susan. Yes. yes. Keep it simple for me, dear. Okay. Uh, following this pattern, keep it simple. We're just talking a body energy level, ther uh, physical therapist. Okay. 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 So the situation is your client with a mm, shoulder or something. Okay. You're over yes. here. You're the therapist. Now let's start heavy. Uh, yeah, you see his shoulder screwed up, but you don't know anything more, let's say, at this moment. Okay? Okay. Okay. I suspicion you settle to a finer dimension of you. Okay. Correct. Then you check out the patient situation and you open, I don't know the right word now, you you. Pick that up in a finer dimension. You stop looking at his body and you start looking through his body a bit at the energy activity of his body or something like, like that. But you're seeing a better dimension of his body. Are we okay so far? You buy that? Yes. And open is a good word. You know, open so that the situation can show, tell more of itself. Okay, uh, we're, we're, I'm sort of stupid tonight. Uh, what's opening here? Uh, well, I guess you might say that the situation opens to another level. Okay, all right, yeah. We, okay, we pick up the situation and we know being, boom, next level. It's showing clearer at that dimensional level. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, so same, same pattern, right? That there's, you have to settle into a finer energy level and then acknowledge that and let that unfold its finer dimensional level. Exactly. Okay. Elaine, you, are, are you on per chance? Yoder? She's not oh, on yeah. tonight. She is not on. Well, a pox on Elaine. I was just going to ask for her version of it. I'm sure she'd say something similar. Ah, story time. I, I just want to get clarity again. Uh, you see, when those people came up to me with this question about their relationship, uh, I got perturbed. I, was, I don't know anything. I was being stressed a bit at that moment. And so I'm also trying to alleviate our stress. Okay. So changing to another dimension and that changing to a finer dimension. So there's an equalness, B to B, C to C, finer to finer. Okay that when we catch there's two of them, uh, instead of trying to have, but I should know, I'm the group leader here at Esalen. 
but I, I didn't know. Okay, so, uh, so to try to get a better sense of how it works, uh, so we don't stress ourselves so much. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know how this is coming out of uh, uh, stories. Okay. Uh, to, again, story to try to follow this. Uh, I was hanging out with Ol Oliver Stone, the Oliver Stone, right? And uh, he shows me a script uh, uh, that he was thinking about using my uh, lady friend at the time in this movie. Uh, so I went home and I looked at the script and I, I settled, I did this part. Then I looked at the script to show me finer with my friend in mind kind of thing. Okay, show me finer with her scene. And he had a small scene there for her. Uh, but finer dimension, show me what's going on. And the scene opened up into her as a much more, I don't know, having more lines, being more present, being a fuller character, okay? And I continued with that for a bit. So the, the storyline around her grew, clarified. Next time he came to town, I showed him, because uh, uh, I wrote notes about it, of course, and I showed him the notes and he thought, oh, it's pretty good. And uh, see, I think, and then he showed it to whoever owned the story, whoever the big boss was. He wasn't yet the great man that he became. Uh, and the guy was okay with the changes and, and stuff. Uh, so uh, again, I had to settle to have the script unfold itself or from a finer dimension lay out for, for me. Are any of these stories happening for you people? Are you following me? Is this clarity clear? <laughs> Hello out there in the world. Uh, I think. Steve, go. Steve, I can't I'm, hear you. I, I sorry, I, I, I let go yes. of my space bar. I, you hear me now? I figured, yes. yes. Okay. Go. Um, so in each of these, it's it's not not trying to leap over from you to the situation. It's just. <laughs> Uh, taking the process with you step by step, finer, finer, finer situation, finer, 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 yeah. and just being with that. Yes. So, as a songwriter, okay, I'm sure there's been some craziness in there because a songwriter is trying to come up with everything. Maybe. Okay. Bear, bear with me. Uh, and he stresses himself because he can't come up with the fuller of the song or the truth of the song or oh, he's having trouble. And I'm saying right there is where if we don't have clarity as to the, the twosies of things, the tennis game effect, bing to the bang and bang to the bing, uh, that the song itself, as soon as you start with song, it already is an entity itself. It has its own aliveness, for lack of words, okay? And so to settle down as a song writer, but then ask the song dimensionally what it wants to lay out, I think would follow this pattern and would be... Oh yeah, it takes away the madness of, the, of trying to write a song. Well, okay. Ted, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hank, Hank Williams said, you don't write songs, they're given to you. And I think yeah. there's something about the dimensional shift you're talking about that makes that possible. Yes, uh, if you open, if you know, okay, I do this. Now, this thing will gift itself from what it can do, it's dimensionally finer. Would you say, uh, Moon, uh, the song gives itself what? what? How'd you say that again? It was, it was Hank Williams, I don't know if you yes. know who he was. Yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus. Hank Williams said, you don't yes. write songs, they are given to you. Yes, so dimensionally, you're present and you can hear from that song situation that it wants to present itself. So yeah, 
Yeah, I think right Picasso down. was talking about in sculpting. <clears throat> he he said you you just uh, you know you you sculpt away until the horse reveals itself. You know it, you don't do anything but but allow it to reveal itself out of the whatever yeah. you're. So sculpting. you're asking the situation, the rock or stone, whatever, to unfold itself. Yeah. But I'm asking us, the Zoomers here, uh, to make sure we're clear on pop to beat, okay? And that we do it maybe what? I don't know, a little fuller, a little more distinct, okay? I think is where I'm trying to go a bit. Yeah, are, are we okay so far? Yeah, uh, you know, getting back with the songwriting, you know, the, the misunderstanding is I'm trying to write a song, I've got to persist until it, until I get I, it. I got yes, it. This yes. guy's working his ass off going crazy. Yeah. And not partaking of maybe a percentage, maybe 6%. Because he doesn't know click and clack, clack and click. So he might be getting a little dribble over. But not the fullness that this can produce. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think this has come up before in a conversation where uh, a writer uh, uh, novels uh, where a character will start to come up. Uh, okay, so here's the writer. Now, the situation, the book he's writing, uh, the mystery novel, whatever, a character starts to come up stronger, which he wasn't expecting. And in some cases, he doesn't want. So he kills it. Okay. No, no, I won't give that character any more pages here. No, stop them there. Okay. Other writers, when that happens and a character suddenly appears almost out of nowhere, I'll go, whoa, tell me about yourself. And they continue to open this and they allow that character to take as big a stage in that book as he wants to. Is that? Uh, okay, so you got the two types of writers, those who kill the character trying to show and those who embrace it and allow it. Is that another example? Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> also, I think some of them are a little surprised or shocked or maybe even scared by a character itself coming alive fuller and fuller in their book, their idea. And here's this thing happening. Okay. It might scare some people a bit. How can that be happening? I, I, the person, didn't decide on that. No, the situation you're involved in decided that. Are, are we okay so far, people? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. There's another stick. Other stories here someplace. Uh, hang on a second. There were a couple of things that I'd see. Situation. Ah, I saw Tom. Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. I know you're there. I saw your picture. There he is. Tom, play this game for me. Okay? Uh, I'm going to call you a contractor. Is that, is that okay? Yes. I'm sure your title is better than that, but we'll call you contractor right now. Somebody shows you this building that isn't working. Uh, it doesn't rent. When people move in, they immediately move out. It's, it's not right. Okay? It's just not working. So they ask you to do something about that building. They don't know why. They say, do something with it. We can't rent the damn place. You following me so far? See? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we have to be careful because this guy will think, well, I'm a contractor. I should be able to figure all this out. And at which time he may put too much pressure on himself. He settles and then says to the building, building, click, let me see the finer dimension of you. At which time the building will begin to show what it would like to be like. 
okay? Let's say the building, just to make up stories there, is kind of square, square, square. And, and there's something about that squareness where people don't feel like walking into the building, Let, let's say, dumb, dumb example. Mm -hmm. When you talk to the building dimensionally and ask it to unfold dimensionally more and more, this is downtime, by the way, this is a clearer, finer dimension, potentially, ah, where it can explain itself more. It'll, can I say feng shui? Uh, Tish, is that right? Feng shui? Feng shui. Feng shui. Feng shui. Mm -hmm. Ah, got it. Feng shui. It'll feng shui itself. Feng shui. And you'll end up taking the square stuff building and getting that out of there and creating a circular entryway that just sucks everybody in or something, right? Is that, mm -hmm. is that process clear to you? Am I okay saying you probably do this? I just want you to do it more and better. <laughs> Where I'm going. Talk to me. I, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of times <clears throat> I'm asked to repair. Why is this building leaking? They don't know where the water is coming. It's obvious the water is is showing up. The leak is showing up in this location. But yeah, <laughs> over here, but it's leaking over there. Something yeah. Like. So and and we have to do tests. We have to discover where. What's the source of this water intrusion, this leak? It's a good example of, and a lot of times the thing to intuit about a building is how, what's the structure? What's underneath the facade? What's underneath the siding? What's underneath behind the windows? What's under the roof? It's the, it's the innards, the, the uh, how do I say this? The foundation, the, the the inner structure of the building that starts to speak. And, and what I'm trying to jump in here for is I love the way you use the word intuit. I, intuit. Here's a building that's having a problem. I have to intuit. For me, intuit means finer dimensional sense. Mm -hmm. I love that he threw that word in there. That's my sense of in. To it or intuition is a finer level of me hanging out with a finer level of situation back and forth. Yeah. yeah? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, uh, Autumn, is that you? Autumn? Autumn, are you on? I don't see her tonight, Sensei, at this okay. moment. All right, if she comes on, let me know. Uh, she may have jumped a little fast over her question. Anyway, we'll wait for her to come on. Uh, so, if we don't know, there are two distinct pieces. Uh, for example, it's been mentioned that uh, this guy might start w trying to work too hard when the answer's in, this one has the answer, but this one is working so hard. Uh, so uh, it's like this one is trying to do that one's job. And that's not fair to this one who has its own job to do. I've bumped into that in different ways through the years in different quote meditation or finer spaces where something will say something like, I'm being forced to do this job and it's not my job, damn it. Uh, but it's sort of been called up inappropriately or something. So uh, anyway, the sense of this one has a job and finer, finer dimensionality. And this one, the situation has a job, finer dimensionality. Okay. Uh, and everything can kind of follow this. I, did we talk about dog and horse whispers last week or something? Uh, uh, that this person has to settle a bit before they can align to the animal and begin to get a connection with the animal to hear what the animal has to say. See, at the heavier level, the animal can't talk. It says bark, bark, or nay, whatever horses say. Uh, but dimensionally, there's an intelligence there with that creature that you can contact. It's the same pattern. But you have to be distinct, not what I want the dog to be, not what I want the dog to say, however the dog wants to say it in whatever form, okay? So I get finer level of me 
And then I align to that. Make sure it's a finer level. That's what this motion is. Next level of it finer. Okay. Uh, or maybe for some people, vice versa. You get a finer this. Great. Now we move and get a finer here to uh, harmonize with it. That's what uh, was that Adriana? Uh, why I loved her letter uh, because she said here in the world of uh, vegetables, <laughs> uh, the aliveness, and she really liked that. Uh, that that aliveness. Huh? Ariana. 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 What did I say? Did I say something dumb. Sorry. Ariana. I don't want to hear anything from Adriana. I've got the stage, Adriana. Anyway, you. <laughs> hey, you. I ever tell you, when I was a young kid in back east, I was a this, that, those, them kid. You understand this, that, those, them? I'm from that part of back east. Okay, you understand that? New York kind of thing? No? Ariana, I think he's trying to explain why he mispronounced your name. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm and interpreting. I'm, young, I mean, I'm the translator. So thank, thank you, you. Laura. I, I'm a young kid. I don't know, 12, 12 years old, whatever. I had a girlfriend. Her name was Thelma. But in those days, I couldn't say Thelma. I learned to say that in California. I'd say Thelma. And I knew that wasn't right. So I stopped calling her Thelma. And I said, hey, you. <laughs> anyway. I learned to speak English sort of when I moved to California. My girlfriend, my first girlfriend here, who became my wife later, she used to have to interpret for me. I was that bad. Because my friends would say, what do you say? What do you say? And she'd interpret. Anyway, where the hell are we here? Thank you. Oh, that you did such a good job with this harmony of the situation in the land of uh, fruits and vegetables, wherever you were at. And then, you went back to this one and you dug deeper and got the energy up on this one, the partner to that. Wow, that's why I said, what a beautiful job. Beautiful, you did what I'm trying to lay out tonight. Okay, that there's dimensional here and you picked up a certain degree of that dimensionally, dimension there, noticed you liked it and then continue with this piece. And went dimensional with this because you went deeper, you opened up, the energies came up more and you had the, the fuller character, let's call it, uh, the fuller character who's pleasant and present. Good job. So I was just trying to explain this in a different way. Okay, thank you. Oh, where the hell are we? Uh, so we had Tom. Uh, Steve with the songwriting, Susan with the healing, uh, and Noah, we were talking earlier, I think you threw out something about somebody, company, company, you were talking about Yes. the business world. Yes, that's right. You got something to say now, I need some help. Yes. Uh, my job was to uh, help clients. Uh, prevent accidents and injuries. Ah, yeah, the stairs, yes. Had a client with a brand new headquarters building. And when people were walking from the second floor down to the first floor, there was a big open atrium. People were falling. That was a brand new building at Med Code in every respect. Uh, so they said, what do you think is going on? And at first I looked at it and I said, gee, this is a beautiful building. What could be wrong here? But then I took a minute and settled a little more. And then also a minute, a minute for the building to settle a little more. And what, what was obvious is people were stepping out into a visually open space without any references. So I had them put a banner hanging from the ceiling so they, there was something they could see kind of in front of them. And then they didn't have any more injuries. Uh, so so. A combination of settling myself and letting the building settle to tell me what the problem was. Ta da I rest my case. We had the same problem at City Aikido. Remember, it was a black floor, a step, black, step, the mat, black. And 
bunch of people were always tripping there, including me. Even though we knew it was a trippy place, we would still continue to trip. Uh, so my idea was, oh, let's put a piece of white tape on this uh, wooden step so people can at least see there's a, it's not black, 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 black. Uh, so that's what we did to take care of that, that problem. Uh, so anyway, uh, settle to read that better because this can settle. It has finer dimensions, whatever it is. A motor has finer dimensions and will express itself. Everything. Once you give it a name, it's alive itself kind of thing, you know, like a character in a movie or whatever. Uh, it has its own life. Uh, if life is the wrong word, you understand what I mean. Or vice versa. Some people like to start on this side and then. But for those people, I say the same thing. Great. Now. Let's pick up this piece of it dimensionally, okay? Ah, it's coming across sort of kind of maybe. Uh, let's, let's, somebody say something. You, 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 are you following this? Uh, am I missing something here? Open mic. Uh, sensei, this is Tija. Hey, Tija. All right, so, one thing that's been very interesting tonight in the dialogue along uh, about clarity for me is that, that when we talk about, and I was listening as Steve was talking about finer and finer and finer, the, the correlation of finer with clarity is very interesting because in a certain way, a finer dimension is a more clear dimension. So um, I was kind of appreciating that as we, we talk about the finer, but the finer is really in service in, in my view of, uh, of clarity. And clarity is that aspect as, uh, as we've talked about and as you've talked about tonight of, um, of presence without obstruction, you know? I mean, it's funny to say that, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's worth saying. There's a, there are at least less obstructions in, yeah. in greater clarity. I want to jump in there. Yeah, It's like in heavier dimensions, the wrappings are thick. Any kind of settling, opening, clearing, the wrappings uh, are not as thick. Therefore, there's more clarity there. And as we continue finer and finer, it's a continuation. They're not thick bands around there. They're thread-like, and it's easy to see through and be present with and stuff. So, yeah, following what Tisha was saying, yeah, my visual on it uh, is, uh, I hear S different, but it's the same thing. Sensei? Yep. Sean here. Sean here. Sean there. Yes, sir. So, I'm thinking uh, artistically, I I've done a lot of um, painting, and usually it starts off in the evening time very late and then it goes into the next day but I when I leave it at in the evening I leave it at a point in which I've been really involved with it and um well there's a there there's a not a not no what I must say is that there's some something happening and when I come back to the next day it's a different situation, so I have to settle in and and get back into that feeling of um, things revealing themselves, having a That's sense of a continuation of that level that you left the day before. You say it that way to some to some degree. There's that. There's a sense of like oh, if things reveal themselves, <clears throat> um, and ex and they feel like they're exposed. Um, and, and it's sort of um, jumping into the stream, getting okay. wet. Uh, yeah, you brought up something that uh, I think I was talking to Noah touched on. Um, that again, to know where you are here. Uh, so that if you run into a place where uh, the situation needs 
uh, needs you to be finer to read the situation finer. You don't quite have the answer in the situation, but there are sometimes some days where you just don't have the time to continue or maybe the where to for to continue the reach. I've gone as far as I can go. I can't go any further this year or something. Um, that again, if you understand how it works, uh, we're not so apt to degrade ourselves because we, we didn't fulfill it perfectly. Uh, Bob, you know what I'm talking about? I thought we were talking about that today. No? Yes, I'd say that's right. Well, Bob, does this relate in your mind to what Osensei did when he would step back and twirl his Joe or chant for a minute and then come back and be different? Is that exactly what we're talking about? Or uh, well, he went through that really fast, but he was doing a process which included that. Okay. But this is Osensei. We have to talk paper here, and I don't want to talk paper right now. But yeah. yeah. He was um, well aware of the harmonies, the center circle, the great he. Uh, see, this is based on, on, the, on an original move, the great he, the great she, the great center, the great circle, uh, the great mind, the great body. Okay, that, that's, that's what we're tracking. Okay. So this is the center and that's the circle kind of thing. Okay. Uh, so we're trying to get more comfortable with and clear on this so we can use this daily, daily life. We can, we can use it better. Not, in a certain way, you can all become dog whisperers or whatever, okay? Uh, by understanding the patterns. As we get better with the dim dimensional aspect of the pattern, and again, we're getting harmony here, balance, okay? Eventually, along the way, we'll bring up that piece that hasn't been mentioned yet, which is true self, original self. Not, not self, this guy. No, I, I don't mean self. I, when I talk self, I mean the soul self, the original self, the before the before self. Okay, so by getting balance, it gives us a, a, a road signs to get to self. Now, I don't want to go too much further on self, so I may have lost you on that. Richard, the floor is yours. Um, I guess the, the place I would ask, and I fear always to take you anywhere off where you're headed, but as you've been talking about the shift to finer, and the word has come up so many times of late, I, and these are those questions I always ask, is there some other way for us to understand that? Uh, we used to say larger, and there's no, no, not larger, finer. And is there anything that would help us clarify what, or expand our understanding of what you mean when you talk about that shift? Yes. Oh, shit, man, I'm working hard. Settle, open. You're in a finer dimension. Whoa. Whoa, wow, almost felt like it floated up. Easy, settle, open. You're in a finer dimension. Not only did it kind of float up, but it felt like there was something supporting it up. Something pushed it up. That th This is our intro stuff. So where are we? There are finer dimensions. Uh, uh, somebody's talking. I don't know what they're talking about. On a good day, I'll settle down to hear what they're talking, hopefully at a finer, oh, I understand you now, but I needed a moment to settle down so I could hear your conversation at a finer level. So I'm not sure what, what I'll, continue, Richard. What am I not expressing? No, I think, I think we're, I think we're, uh echoing fine here i just <clears throat> i'm um I, you Something. forget <laughs> that we uh you know that you're wh wherever you're talking from whatever so you're at a four by four and we're listening at a three by three or two by two so i'm trying to look for little cues to help us make the jump to the dimensional shift so that what you're saying makes more sense 
we can understand it better. Not that you you may understand it perfectly. I don't know. And, and um, I was just playing with the word as I want to do. And forgive me if I distracted you at all. If you want to go back to clarity, I'm totally aligned with that. And I don't mind you claritying your words if you want to. I'll Thank give you another minute out there. Take it. Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I'm I'm good. I, I still um and there's still a catch. There's still a catch, Richard. I can hear it. That's right. I'm getting Say that it. there's <laughs> there, uh, we did this once around the word body. And I said, you you tell them to get in their body, but you don't really mean their body. You mean an awareness of I, I don't have a fee, an experiential or some anyway. So you say finer, and I'm going like, is you know, you know something when you say that that I'm not uh, sure I'm hearing. Well, that's the same way you're hearing a glitch. I'm hearing there's more there than I'm getting. I'm saying anything you can do to expand that term, to help us understand that term in other ways. And what you did did help. I just okay. feel like there's more. Oh, always, uh, always. finer and finer. <laughs> Uh, again, uh, okay. I was gonna I, say, I, um, go ahead. I was just going to say what Richard said. I think is is pretty astute in that you're you're coming from say uh, three by three explaining, and we're we're listening in two by two, and we need to get finer to fully understand your, what you're trying to communicate. Okay. And, uh, okay. I think I try not to talk to two by twoers from a four by four, cause they're not going to understand. So there's a time to shut up. I think there's a time not to try to lay stuff out. Okay. I chastise myself as somebody calls me and asks a question about the universe or at something and and they hang up confused. I I I don't like that. And what did I do wrong? They're, they got confused. Uh, so I, I think I understand the the situation. Uh, but I, I'm not sure when you use examples like body, it's like, I don't know, feel the body. Just feel it. Okay. And now that may be an idea, so I may push you a little bit to see if the body is responding a bit. Say, yes, okay, that's body. There's more, but that's that's a part of body, yes. Then after a while, we get a fairly full body where the feet are on the ground. I check them a little bit. Feet on the ground, there's a body. Uh, then we try to introduce, now, now there's another level. Uh, we'll call up some energies here. And as if energies are flowing through the body, are you settled and open enough to pick up, ooh, my hands are suddenly got warm. And they actually did. Uh, uh, easy. Energies are coming through the body. Can you pick that? Oh, yeah, both hands are sort of humming. And that's where that practice came from, uh, energy to energy kind of thing. Uh, and and you're diverging. Uh, uh, till they get a sense of a body with energy in it. Then we progress, settling and opening some more till uh, maybe they'll get to an energy body or they'll get to a uh, finer and finer, a chakra energy body. Wow, chakras. It's like, yeah, it's an energy, finer energy body. It's nice, it's cute, it's along the way. I'm not downing it, but it's not God yet, people. <laughs> it's chakra body, okay? Uh, and on and on and on. So. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Sometimes I hear what you're saying, like, oh, you want me to come back to body, body, body. Screw you people. I ain't doing that heavy. I'm not a kindergarten teacher. Or maybe I'll do kindergarten for a month in an Aikido class. No more kindergarten. We're in grammar school now. So I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what to say to you folks. I appreciate your input. <laughs> Anyway, are you finished, Steve? Can I move along here? Uh, I'm finished. No, but really, one, the one thing I just, for me, I think is very insightful is, is to not try and get you, but to get 
in the same illustration that you're talking yeah, about. Yes, yes. Fun. I'm talking four by four. You can't sit there in one by one and dig me. Exactly. Well, that's the whole point dig that me, I please. was trying to say. I'll try not to four by four if you can only get to a two by two, but I'm not going to come down to your one by one and deal with you. That's not my job. I'm not a, a therapist that way or at that level. Right. I ain't going there. Right. Let somebody else deal with you. We have kindergarten teachers. That's their job. They're very good at it. It's not my damn job. <laughs> so that was a good point, though. Uh, if this is too much, this uh, part here has to do something. Okay. All right. Uh, and vice versa. Yeah. Uh, good. Good point. I think. Okay, I'm scanning. Somebody say something wrong. Scanning. Hi, Sensei. This is Justin in Miami. I, I'd hey, like Justin. to. Hi. Um, so, uh, curious things have been happening this week, and I'd, I'd like to, um, I guess, tell a story of my own um, from today's, okay. today's experience. Uh, so, one of our clients. He's, he manages the real estate for the county. And uh, he came in first a few months ago having panic attacks and, and things of that nature. And we've been settling and opening and so on. And, um, you know, over, over, over the last couple of months, he's been working this process and has come up with a relatively articulate, finer dimensional character. He calls it Mr. Communication, but it's helped him navigate those situations where he doesn't have panic attacks. I'm happy to report. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> this week, um, his deputy, whatever, has been out of town and he's now playing the go-between between the higher ups. Some new stuff is on his plate and uh, his Mr. Whatever with all of its partner energies is not up to snuff. So sure. he's realizing, um, you know, with the process, that a communicator is now becoming like Mr. Ambassador or the finer of whatever because his situation has changed and he has to adapt accordingly. And yeah. he, he, changed. And he, he is changed. changing. Yeah. It's gotta be, yeah. gotta be, or we get yeah. stuck. Yeah. And because that's a law, it's trying to happen. It is happening, but people don't, miss, don't understand and they fight it and interfere with it and screw it all up. That's what's uh, trying to happen. You know what I was, I was reminded of? Um, o Sensei, um, if I recall right, had um, uh, been given this, his great mission and felt for a moment that he couldn't, it was too big. And he almost died until he opened up to it, no? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was at a big level, uh, my understanding. Uh, is getting pretty squared away with the great center and circle actual. Uh, and it was down around that level, very, very advanced level, where the next was a bit of a I don't know, quantum leap or a big change. And uh, he, he was hesitant there, as I understand it. There's more details, but I'm going to blank at the moment. So where, where are you going with that? Uh, just to illustrate um, that, to even to Osensei, uh, we we all face perhaps these situations where we have to have to step into a finer, and if we don't, uh, we get sick or we get uh, you know panic attacks or insomnia or whatever uh, or cancer. I don't know uh, yeah. until we do. That's all. Yeah, that's a good point because, uh, and I'll, this will probably come up in the future in a different angle on things, but. Uh, as we deal with those things at lesser levels, like, uh, you know, whatever, your daily life situation, uh, the noise you hear is the lady in the kitchen, uh, is that to learn those tricks is good because later there'll be finer dimensions of things where you need those tricks at that level. So we get sort of a, a, a prep warm-up 
the things that are going to be very useful later. And I'd like to explain that better, but another time with a different class. But I've seen that for years and years where, uh, I can't even think of the right word now, so maybe I should shut up, but. Where, again, I learned a trick about how to deal with something, trick of the trade. And then later at a much finer level, uh, it was basically the same trick of the trade. I wasn't at that earlier level. I was at a finer level, but it was very much the same trick of the trade. I'm glad I had that experience when I was a, a Nado instead of a sensei, because it prepped me for this change into sensei or whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. Another story came up there. Ah, damn. I don't see fleet through. Uh, I'm going to miss it. Ah, let it go. Okay. Uh, uh, Funny okay, enough, though, and this is Sensei, just my last last comment on this. The okay. thing he, he said was the most helpful in this process was not to wait until he was under pressure. He did the work to prep, like you're saying now. He He... He did the settling and opening when it was easy. He, he didn't wait till he was provoked. He was I'm, I'm on sorry, what it. Are you talking about? Oh, this is the real estate manager guy. Oh, uh, oh okay, you know, sorry. Uh, anyhow, I wasn't sure if you were um, talking about Sadaharu O. Uh, indeed. Oh, oh, mine as well, right? It's the same, okay. same thing. You don't wait till you're at the bat. You do it first. Like the, the Blue Angels don't wait till they're in the air to then get synchronized. It happens before. It's you know what I'm saying? Told the story, yeah. Uh, that's all. Uh, I'll, I'll close my mic now. I just, again, wanted us to be a little clearer because by law, in fact, I think it's sensei. Yeah, talk no sensei about. Uh, the center and the circle, the character and the situation kind of thing. And uh, God, my brain cells are gone tonight. And uh, we're talking about the harmony between the two. Uh, and I alluded to something like, eventually this harmony will be there. I'm, I'm starting with this guy. And he said, no, it, it's, it's always there. You just don't notice it. You, in a big sense, people don't notice it's there. So if you're highlighting this, you don't notice that is there, even though it is, but it's not really catching your attention and probably vice, vice and, 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 and of course, vice versa. Uh, people feel uh, comfortable being in the garden, whatever, whatever, and they have a character but they don't realize uh, the character is not full enough. They should kick and do a full character. Did I say that well? Cause it was kind of important. Or we hold it up for another day. Who's I talking to? Justin, was I talking to you or just talking? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't tell anymore. I'd like to think you're talking to me, but um, <laughs> I think this is, this is relevant for, for, every, for everybody. You know? Character yeah. situation, the character is in, in, a, in the world of the character. And to what level do they, or what way do they resonate in harmony with those two aspects, one yeah. and the other? Yeah. And, and again, I, tonight is only to highlight, uh, let's be more distinct with this to that and that to this. Because I think we too often are half-assed with it. We get this and a little bit of that. But we don't understand the fullness of that or vice versa. We get this and we don't understand the fullness of this. So we're kind of half at. You believe in the idea of harmony Aikido, but you don't have a harmonious person with guts. Something is missing because you go, oh, my idea. Oh, I feel it a bit. And I call that half. You got to, that's why I loved Ariana whatever your name is. Hey, you, 
uh, I, I love that you went deep and acknowledged the depth and had that energy help it, just suck it up, allow it to flow through. I love the depth that you went, went to. That was like, yes. Because a lot of people do half-ass. They're, oh yeah, there's ground. But they're not grounded. But I'm aware of it. I can say ground in four different languages. Great for you. You're not grounded. <laughs> okay. And I'll come back around with you. All, all you people get on that. When, yes, we're going to talk about self. We're going to make up stories about self. We're going to talk about the possibilities of self. And none of that is self. I don't care how smart you are. It's not self. You're talking about it. Only self experiencing, aware, present with itself as self is self. So we'll head that way one day soon. Where the hell are we? Did I miss anything? Did I say anything? Um, hi, Sensei. Did I confuse anybody? Who that? Uh, this oh, is. Yeah. I'm sorry, who? Catherine. Oh, Catherine, yes. Hi there. Hi so there. I just got a call from a potential client. A proposal. I'm sorry, you're breaking. I'm sorry, Catherine, could you move closer to your microphone, please? Okay, you get a closer. Jesus Christ, it was two rooms away. Come on, <laughs> Catherine. Well, I'm going into where the Wi-Fi might be easier as well. You're, um, you're coming in much clearer now. Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. So I have a client that just, a potential client who just called. Okay. And so I'm the person and then the circle in terms of the situation in a way is both the team, because it's a good sized team, as well as the response that's needed, as well as the context. So to me, the situation um, and how I need to match the situation feels very, um, uh, the, the, the two senses of energies need to be at the same level for me to be able to respond mm -hmm. with an appropriate proposal. Yeah. Uh, me tapping into not just the needs of the person who called me. Oh, no, 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 no. That situation yeah. is not him. The situation is the team. The situation is their, their agenda. The situation, yes, all that. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, so... I, I, I offer that because I feel that the model uh, is just super useful as I, and, and I have till Monday. So I actually quite appreciate how you're elucidating, uh, making this clear, you know, in terms of how we can. Clarity. <laughs> clarity, yeah, yeah. And if I, don't, if I don't respond with clarity, she's just gonna take one look at that and go, why was she referred to me? It's not, you know, it's not gonna feel matched. Yeah, good. Thank you, Catherine. You know, uh, uh, an example again is when that person called you on the phone, that, that quick moment of you uh, being the proper person to be present with the one on the phone, that, that would have been adequate. No, because you don't know what the situation is yet, but you're on the phone with this person. I don't know this person, but who do I have to be? I trust the intelligence of the system to be appropriate with this person on the phone, to get the job. <laughs> well, and to be so, present yeah. enough to ask the appropriate questions, yeah. to get enough of the information yeah. so that I, I, I can fill out the picture even more. How many people, yeah. what kind of a budget? Yeah, what, yeah. Well, and that's why, that's why we would adjust along the way. I was just talking about that first person, person. Now, if the person's going to talk about the situation, then of course you should play along and do what you did, right? Right. Uh, and ah, I get a finer sense of what she's talking about situation. And if she continues with more stuff, you have to go finer and acknowledge that's finer. So that you can hang out with her as she lays out more and more and more. Yeah. Right. You know how to do this, Catherine. Oh yeah. Get off I, my show. Take over. <laughs> take, take it over. Oh, I'll, I'll retire tomorrow. You take it over. No, that's okay. You keep 
<laughs> you keep it, please. <laughs> but thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, so if we are more orderly and clearer on how it works and work it clearer, we won't confuse ourselves. And uh, for example, have this guy working so hard to try to do something he's not really capable of doing. That the situation, if it's allowed to speak about itself, we'll lay it all out, okay? Uh, so so that, that's, uh, if you catch that and can fit that into your lods and ends of daily life, hey, it's practice, why not? Makes your life better, why not? Uh, so uh, do something there. <laughs> oh, I remember uh, Sean mentioned painting and that, uh, uh, where again, I've mentioned before, but I never remember his name, hang on a second. To, to, to Jerry is Jackson Pollock. Uh, I have to check my library of art books. Jackson Pollock uh, was at a party and the psychologist said, you know, uh, uh, how do you paint the way you paint or something? And he says, the painting tells me what it wants. Ta da another one. You see, all these guys are saying the same thing. We're just trying. Uh, uh, because you can't have people running around and say, well, I'm standing here in front of this empty canvas and it's not telling me anything. Uh, you know, we don't want to be dumb here. There's a science to it. So one thing we're trying to do is lay out the science of it, the practicality of it, the how to do this. So it's not just a philosophy, okay? There's something more practical here that's very important and that's where old sensei was special. He told me a lot of philosophers around. I could do that too. I'd be more famous, but they're missing something here. They're missing this actual boom, 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 as we're trying to line, lay things out. The more active practicality, not just a philosophy of ideas. Something will always be missing. And we can't miss stuff and continue to the great journey of heavenly. Okay, a la old sensei's map. Uh, uh, sensei, it's uh, uh, almost uh, 40 minutes got, past the hour. We've covered a I, lot of ground tonight. If you mm -hmm. come to the end, I know you wanted to talk about uh, scheduling. Oh, yeah, I wanted to say something there. Uh, let me, yeah, okay, scheduling. We're getting close. How many people do we have on tonight? Do 43. I know? 43. Oh, not too bad. But soon, soon people, it's opening up here more and more. Uh, your Friday nights are going to be visiting family. Your Friday nights on, are going to be, let's go to the movie. Uh, your Friday nights are going to be, where are you taking me for dinner tonight, honey? Uh, uh, so where do you think we're going with this? Once the world opens up, which get, we're getting very close to it. You know, out here we're looking at a few weeks or even now to some degree. Those of us who have had shots can get out there without our masks and hey, hey, hey. So we're getting there. Uh, mull on what you think we should do with these Friday nights. If you're going to be around or if not, are you going to watch them on a different day or are we finished? Uh, so mull on that, and we'll dialogue about it another time. Yeah, is that is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Just to, just to make clear for everybody, so, uh, 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 if I can just uh, add that um, uh, different places, people are in different places and in different situations, and we want to respect that, and so. Uh, uh, some people may jump, be jumping back to, you know, pre-pandemic uh, activities, and some people are not ready for that yet. So Sensei's asking, I think, shall we keep going with these Friday night virtual classes? Should we move them to a different time because Friday's <clears throat> not good for everybody? Or do people want to just keep going uh, as we have been? So there are a lot of, op a lot of choices and possibilities 
not just one yes or no. I think that's what you wanted to say, Sensei. My first wife used to have to uh, cover for me. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're already I, married. I, I got a question, Sensei. What do you I got say? a question. What do you say? Andreas. Uh, it's Andreas, Sensei. I got a question. Yeah. Andreas wants to ask a question, Sensei. Yes, I do. I want to know, I mean, are you going to be teaching anyway, anytime soon? I mean, according, uh, let's say everything is safe, like we're all vaccinated. Are you going to be teaching at the, I mean, I don't coaching? know yet. Where? Okay. I, I'm going to send out a questionnaire soon to the Mountain View, Mountain View people seeing when they want to come back, if they've had shots. Okay. Uh, uh, San Francisco, Ross is starting something there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in relation to San Francisco. I, that I haven't decided right, sure. on at all. Okay. So it's up in the air. But the Mountain View people, uh, soon somebody will send you a questionnaire. Robert, are you out there? Uh, I hope you have the mailing list for everybody. If not, let's find the person who does have, Jen I or somebody. Say what? Uh, sensei, we do have a mailing list for Mountain View and for City Aikido and for San Jose. Okay, so well, just for Mountain View, uh, soon we should ask when they want to come back. I'm looking at June 1st or June 15th because the state seems to be at a different thing than what the feds are saying or whoever's saying that. Anyway, so I'm still temporarily confused, but it's getting close. It's getting close. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Thank you. Close. Thank you. Could, could I ask Andreas, what, what do you want? What do I want? Well, I would like us to train in, in a safe way where everybody feels comfortable, right? That's what I feel. But I don't, I, but at the same time, it's like, you know, what's going on? I mean, wh where, right? Right. So anyway, so I'm just gonna, I, I just wanna stay with what's comfortable within my grounds. And I want to stay with, that's what I feel. Yeah. Anyway, so. so anyway, for no, San Francisco no, no. I, I, right I, now. I just want to train, ciao. I, I. Yeah, so Andreas, it's, it's very clear and completely understandable that you want to train. So the question is not, I think most of us want to train. The question what? really is, what should we do Lauren, continuing Lauren, with Lauren, these Lauren, online Lauren, classes? Lauren can, I, ahead, Lauren, can I suggest that we really don't do this interactively right now. It's like almost eight o'clock. I think people have heard the question and uh, I thought we would, some emails are gonna go out and we can email everyone here and then uh, give people, we don't have to decide it right now. Uh, so yeah, enough perhaps it's on that. time to, to yes. call it a okay. night. Great. Yeah, and a correction for Kenny, it's not almost eight, it's 20 of, thank you. <laughs> My bad. It's bad. Uh, people, are we uh, are, are, are we okay? Any questions? Uh, anything will keep you up tonight regarding this stuff? Tensei, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I was just um, <clears throat> becoming aware of of. Um, what you're what you're talking about tonight in relating to just everyday life and conversations with people that I know fairly well, where the conversation can go somewhat deeper than it does with you know just talking talking surface stuff with acquaintances, and I figure I'm a pretty good listener, and would listen and wait until there was an opportunity where it felt like I was it was appropriate for me to give some feedback, and I noticed that sometimes I would give the feedback and it would be very well received and appreciated. And other times um, there would be quite a um, sharp response from the other person, as in that, no, I hadn't got it. Um, and that it, that it feels no, now to me- You don't have it or they didn't catch it. Who ain't got it? Well, uh, that, uh, that my, re my that response, yeah, my response to them didn't hit the mark. They still didn't understand. Is that what you're saying? No, that I didn't understand. In other words, oh, could I you please move oh, your, your microphone to your mouth? Answer wasn't in relation to their question, is what they said. 
Yes, you yeah. could say yeah. so. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. At and, which time? <laughs> well, what I now realize is that when I successfully ca catch that and, and recognize that I've obviously um, well, I used to think of it in terms of, I've, well, I've obviously pressed one of their buttons and the, the problem is actually theirs. But um, in fact, that's not the case. It's that I haven't been in the right um, level, dimension, to, to properly understand what they're saying. Yeah. And that it's usually because I'm trying too hard to understand what they're saying instead of relaxing and, and easy the eye let the situation let and becoming okay yes you settle so them can whatever yeah yeah so, uh, uh, so that's yeah. been really good thank you okay uh and def I'm... definitely keep the sessions going okay uh i i can't find anything more at the moment on my notes there was something about a sensei let's see uh I'll take a, a risk here of bumping you from your thoughts, but when you've been laying out here is that this issue of getting kind of more I involved, more I should be able to, as opposed to opening and settling. And I keep coming back to that being that kind of essential, fundamental, repeated, you know, well, world without end on men kind of practice. And that that's what he was talking about when he would say to you, Nado, it's so easy. Uh, we are talking now. Here, I gotta, I gotta say something. You're talking about settling to a finer dimension. Now you can't add as if that's the big thing he was trying to tell me. That was one piece along the way. You see, I could do that with this guy, but not realize this could do it. Uh, I, are you following where, where I'm going? Oh, I, pre so I appreciate that. We can't do that. one little piece and say that's it. It's no, an I, I appreciate piece. that. I would come back to your comment that the, but the process was the same at the bigger levels. Yes, if we get, but, but let's not just on one move say, oh, let's at least have two moves. The great center, da, 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 gets finer itself. And in relation, the great circle, boom, 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 gets finer onto itself. And they have a, an arrangement with each other. And they really care about each other, D, D, and boom, boom, and boom, boom, and D, D. And then someplace there, hint at a self. And then I'd say, okay, we're heading into O Sensei country now. I, I just didn't want to take a little piece, Richard, and say, that's it. Everybody. I, I, I would hope that's it. Think. You got it. Leave me alone now. That you would know at this point that that was not what I was saying. But at any rate, I, think well, I don't want process... other people listening to think you said that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, are we finished for tonight? As I don't always, care. I can hang. Are there any more comments for Sensei? Otherwise, we'll wrap it up. Well, I'll uh, save you the suspense and uh, say that um, a lot of people, there's, the comments are uh, different variations of uh, to continue the, the Friday Zoom, the, the Zoom sessions. Uh, the days, maybe that's, uh, you might get some feedback. But other than that, um, I think we're good. Well, let me, okay. let me add one, one piece of, um, I'm not even sure what to call it that I'm sure everybody coming in who was here at the beginning was just taken by the wonderful music that we now have. And we want to acknowledge and thank Tisha Bell for his contribution to that. Thank you, Tisha. Uh, I think yeah, since uh, they we're, we're ready to roll the closing credits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no rush on anything yet. No rush on uh, what are we going to do on Friday night, but do mull on it. No rush on when we're we going back to the do dojo, uh, probably soon or in San Francisco. They got a class going on, at least one class a week. Go for it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see as the days unfold.